Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's Happening at the Library in February. We've made it. Happy Valentine's in. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy 2021, one month in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not leap year this year. Hopefully, we won't have Friday the 13th. You know, everything that happened last year. Exactly. So we're excited. We have a guest today. This is Dana Urban. She is from the um, outreach department at the library. And in February, we're really focusing on outreach and what it is, how to get involved. Um, I think it's kind of one of our best hidden secrets that we do yeah, at the library. I don't think a lot of people know that we even offer some of these services that Dana's going to talk about. Yeah. And Dana's been in this position for many years and she's has outreach in many places in our community. And yeah. So Dana, if you just want to kind of give us an overview of what you do with outreach. Well, outreach is like a bookmobile. If I drive a little minivan and I deliver books to people's homes. I do homebound services. I have libraries uh, in the senior apartments and book clubs in the senior apartments. And I just go all over Gillette. I meet people all the time and, and you just bring the library. And you connections with people in the community too. Oh my too. goodness, yes. yes. I think that's really great. You know, we have a lot of homebound patrons that Dina can bring books to. It's a little different in our in our season of COVID, but you've you've really touched a lot of people's hearts and and getting involved in their families and Well, this past year, uh, a patron that I had been visiting, he and his wife for 16 years. Mm, that's cool. That's uh, cool. He passed away no. and very hard, I think. They kind of become like your family. Uh, they? Oh, they do. <laughs> uh, we have a, an old car, an old Model A, and we took him for a drive oh. and videotaped it and so thankful for that. That's you know, cool. talking old cars, and he talked about his military service with uh, my husband and I. Actually, I had to introduce him to my husband so he could <laughs> uh, see what a great guy this man was. That's really cool. So there's that personal connection too that you get when you would come into the library face to face with the librarians that are there. But when you're homebound, you don't really have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So Dana is your opportunity, and her department um, they do an excellent job of really reaching out into the community. It's kind of two full. So you kind of have your homebound patrons, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that are at their house that are either, you know, um, advancing in age and can't get out as easy or, you know, if their winters are hard. <clears throat> or you have people that have had like surgery and also can't get out. And so it's kind of different things. Or now with COVID, I'm sure you have a couple patrons that are just uncomfortable with being out and about and they're a little bit more comfortable with yes. just you dropping off supplies. But then you also have your mini libraries at like Primrose and Cottonwood, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, a mini library is just a, a very small version of the public library. Most books that I bring are large print. Um, and so we do all the genres that we have and they leave me requests, but they're very widely used. That's cool. Now, what locations are you at on those? I have a, a mini library at Pioneer Apartments. That's close to Stock Trail School. I have one at Primrose, Cottonwood 1, Cottonwood 2, and Bicentennial. Oh, Bicentennial. That's and you do clarify for non-COVID times, did you have one at Legacy 2? Uh, no, I no. would just uh, bring a lot of books and have them on a okay. cart and go okay. room to room. Okay. So there is, so you did have service to Legacy, you know, when it's not Yes, and down. so now I, I drop it off. That's they fine. still receive books, but awesome. I just drop them off. And awesome. Uh, we just do an exchange outside. That's cool. So if you're in any of those locations, definitely ask yes. when Dana's going to be there so she can um, connect you with, you know, some books. Yeah, and it's not do, just yeah. oh, Sorry, go ahead. Um, you do a book club, too. You, yes. I do. The Senior mm -hmm. Center and Primrose is suspended right now. Mm -hmm. And then Pioneer Apartments. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yes, we have a wonderful time. Now, how so, can they get a hold of you? They can call the library and they can ask for outreach. And I'm Dana. You can call me at 687-9214. Uh, uh, circulation desk will answer questions as well. And now there's like an mind. application too, right? You got a form you got to fill out. Now, yes, they have you to You or a family member can fill it out, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they have to qualify. And, and the homebound each have their own library card. Oh, cool. So we sign up, do sign up for that. Nice. And so everything is checked out to them, and it's fine-free, which 
right. is so good because sometimes weather or COVID stops, their oh. books are going to become overdue, but they are, it is fine for you. Awesome. That's, yes. that's really cool. So. Well, Dana, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us an overview of what you do. And Thank you for yes. this great service. It is. It's a so wonderful welcome. community You're resource. You're so welcome. You know, something new for this year is I'm um, going to be helping with genealogy. Oh, nice. And maybe I bet a lot of your patrons are Yes, are into and I think family or uh, history interviews. Yeah. So we don't want to lose that wealth of knowledge. That's awesome. That we have these people. That's yeah. a great idea. Okay. That's really cool. So. Yes. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Dana. So that was great to have Dana join us. We're really excited about, we're going to a little bit more focused every month. We're going to have a more focus on either a service or a department or mm -hmm. something. And so we'll have guests, more guests this year. We're kind of excited about that. Yeah. So outreach was our focus for the month of February. Yeah. And as Dana explained, that offers a lot of services. So if there's any questions or clarification of anything Dana talked about, mm -hmm. give us a call at the library. Or check out our website. <coughs> Outreach has their own page. They've updated it. They've got a lot of cool stuff on it. Um, also, our newsletter this month has a whole outline with quotes from community members about outreach and everything. So it's kind of cool. So check out our newsletter as well. And it's February, which means there's a lot of Valentine's Day celebration happening at the library. And I came in my my Valentine red. Sarah came in her anti -Valentine, Valentine black. So <laughs> take with that as you will. <laughs> well, the teens are doing an anti Valentine. That's right. Day they party. are. They're doing an escape room down in the. Tell teen us room. about that. That's Wednesday, February tenth. Um, that's an early release day, two to three thirty. Down in the, they've had the escape rooms before, and they're a lot of fun. They are. Uh, you need to call and reserve um, a spot because they are limited. So anti Valentine. Yeah. My kind of party. That's right. That's right. <laughs> K That's, through six is doing a virtual Valentine, which is something they've never done before. So this is gonna be a little bit different. You can get a STEM kit from the, the children's library, and then you're gonna go onto our YouTube channel yes. and put it together with them. Yep, and they're gonna do it live with you, or recorded live, but they'll walk through everything with you as you have your supplies, and it's gonna be really cool. Yeah. They were telling me about it the other day, and I was like, this is really clever. So, so definitely check really that out. we're getting really creative with our programming. Um, right now yeah and we still want to offer as as many programs and resources as yep. we have before yeah absolutely so that's also on the early release wednesday february 10th at 2 30. so come to the children's library and get your kit yes now talking about um crafts and stem kits we're doing also an adult grab and grow craft kit as well so um stop by the library you can pick it up um, every bag has like a variety of um, materials and, and stuff, and you can create, um, oh, scissors and glue not included. <laughs> I, I like that note on my thing. <laughs> but you can, uh, we partnered with Legacy to include each kit a name of a resident, so you can make a card and then send them a Valentine's Day card. I think that's Legacy. great. So that's, that's really, really, nice. really cool. I know uh, my grandfather's in Legacy right now, and it's just, you know, they're lonely in there. Mm -hmm. And even Something after, to brighten their day. Even with family members calling them every day, it's nice to get mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a brightness. So that's really cool. So grab one of those at the library as well. They're doing that throughout the month of February. So. And February brings back our story times. Um, they take a little story time break in January, but they're back in full force in February. Yes. So if you've been missing our story times, come back this month. Yep. All uh, the normal times, all the same times. Same bat channel. Same bat channel. Same bat channel. <laughs> Yeah. And we're also um, doing the Wyoming Youth Book Awards. So like the Buckaroo, the Indian Paintbrush, the Soaring Eagle, all those are up for voting now. Um, so it's Buckaroo is K through three, Indian Paintbrush is fourth grade through sixth grade, and Soaring Eagle is seven through 12. Yeah. So I think to be able to eligible to vote, you have to read at least three of those books, and then you can cast your votes. Yeah, and you can vote and see which one gets the award for the year. So it's very popular, there's some good books. I have a couple um, co-workers that are reading through the yeah. list and yep. they said they're a good, it's a good lineup this mm -hmm. year, so. Definitely. Yeah. We also have uh, Money Mondays uh, on February 22nd at 6 p.m. at the Gillette Library. Um, it'll be paying for higher education, so <laughs> that's always a fun thing. And you know, I, don't, I don't really <laughs> think you have to have a child that's like a junior or a senior. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, I think if your children are younger, this would be really nice yeah, because it gives definitely. you some good foundation for the future. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> come yep. and check that out on the February 22nd. And our chocolate 
basket oh, raffle. Yes. It looks really good. I got a sneak peek of it. I know. There's a very large teddy bear on it too, which is also equal. And the biggest Snicker. It's probably as big as this table. <laughs> it's huge. It was as big as the couch that I saw the picture <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> so yeah, so the raffle tickets are available at both libraries, both Wright and Gillette. And uh, when is the drawing? February 10th at February 4. February 10th. So come in, come in now and get your tickets. Yep. A dollar a piece, six for five dollars. That's right. And all the money goes to the Library Foundation. Absolutely. Which helps put on our programs and stuff, which we're yeah. very grateful for. So. Yes. Um, we also have the book discussion at Campbell County. It's The book is The End We Start From by Megan Hunter, February 16th in person, and then the Zoom one on February 17th. So um, come and pick that up at the library. And Wright's doing a neat series, a homestead series. Yes. You guys just made candles last month. We did. So in January, we did candle making. So we're doing some like homestead skills that, that some people might not have grown up with mm -hmm. that, you know, we've kind of a couple generations removed from living yes. off the land and stuff like that. So we introduced the homestead series this year and it was a huge hit in January. We had over 30 people show up. We did candle making and we're doing soap making in February. So that's on Monday, the 22nd of February at six or at five o'clock, no, six o'clock, six o'clock at the Wright Library. So if you want to pick up some homestead skills, come on down. We're doing soap making and we're doing um, weaving and herbology and gardening coming up this spring. So, so keeping your eye out for that. That's a really neat series. That's, yeah. you know, lost arts. It is, it is. And we've had people come in and say, do you have a book about this? Do you have a book about this? We're like, why don't we do a cool program mm -hmm. on it? And, and, and yes, you know. we do have books on that. And, and, <laughs> yes, obviously we have books. <laughs> Which was cool. We pulled out a whole bunch of books for the program and they all got checked out. So it was kind of fun. Awesome. Uh, one last thing before we go is our graphic novel character contest. Yes. Um, they're still accepting entries until February 26th at 4.30. Um, come to the Cirque desk and get an entry form, and it kind of explains the breakdown of the age groups and um, the mediums yes. that they want them in. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, all right, well, we'll see you all in March.